In this video, I'm going to show you some of the basic customizations and also basic setup. This is definitely something you'll want to do. Uh, we find that most companies don't care enough about the client experience, and it takes just five to 10 minutes to make your portal look and feel great to your clients. To get started with the customizations, click on customization in the sidebar. Here you can set a brand name. This doesn't need to be your legal name. This can be something shorter that your customers actually use to refer to you as. There is a few image ass assets you can upload and there is a descriptions here that explain how they're used. I'm just gonna update this square login image for this demo. It's gonna be a square image. So if you upload something of a different size, you're gonna have to uh, crop it here. There we go. There's also a few colors I can update. I'm just gonna change the sidebar background color for this demo and make it a little bit darker. And I'm also gonna to switch to a different font. Obviously, if you already have a marketing website, the best practice is to try to match your portal with your marketing website. This is looking pretty good, so I'm gonna click update to save. And we're all set. Now, if I go to my portal and refresh, I can see that the font is updated and the sidebar color is also updated. That is perfect. Next up, let's look at some of the app customizations. So for that, go ahead and click into app setup. So here are all of the apps that are currently enabled and I can actually reorder them if I want to change how they're surfaced in the sidebar. One of the things we recommend is disabling any apps you don't need. So for instance, if you don't need the help desk, you can click on edit and then you can disable it. You can always bring apps back if you need them. Sometimes the words that we use aren't um, right for your industry or use case. And so if I, for instance, wanted to change the name of the files app, I can click on edit here and change this to resources. Each app also has its own settings as well as an icon, and you can update those on the app details page. There's a few settings that we recommend doing. So if you're gonna use the Messages app, in the app settings, you can set up a welcome message. We definitely recommend updating this because the first time a client logs in, they are gonna receive this message. And so here, you really wanna take a few minutes to introduce your firm, explain how clients should use the portal, and maybe remind them that it's a good practice to bookmark the portal for easy access. The billing app also has lots of settings. And so if I click edit here, you can see that I can customize what types of payment methods are allowed and a few other things as well. One of the best features in Copilot is the app store. And so again, when you create a new account, you're started off with some default apps, but if you go to the app setup page and then click on add an app, you will see many other apps to choose from. Some of these are fully fledged apps like the help desk, client home, and profile manager, and others are embeds. So if you're using a product like Calendly for scheduling or Airtable, you can embed those products in your portal so clients can see them. Some apps are client facing. That means they have a client experience as well that's shown in the portal and others are internal only. This is for apps like internal tools and analytics and so forth. As an example, let's install the client home app. This is one we just rolled out. Let's keep the name and icon the same and have it enabled from the start. Now, if I click add, I am able to set up a dynamic client homepage, as you can see. I'm gonna keep this all the same uh, and go back to the app setup page what I'm gonna do is move this new app to the very top. Since this is a home page, I want this to be the default page that clients land on when they go to the portal. Now let's save that change. And now when I go back to the portal that I showed you previously, it looks like all of the changes are in. Let's click on the home page. Perfect, that works just as expected. 
Let's log out of this portal real quick to see if that square image also came in. And it looks like that worked as well, so we are all set. The final thing uh, that you need to know about initial setup is that you can grab your portal's login URL down here. And what most businesses will do is they will take this URL and, and add a login or client portal button at the top of their marketing website and link to this portal. You can use this URL here directly, but if you're gonna add a custom domain later, watch our video on getting that set up as the link will change. And so if you're gonna do that, we recommend doing the custom domain setup first. The other thing you can do is add a sign up button to your marketing website. This is gonna let visitors create their own accounts. And to find that link, click on settings. And um, on this page, you will see the item allow client user direct setup, and you can copy the link here.